guys, it's your boy Martin here with you today. And today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to set a live cage trap right now. So, basically, cage traps can be used for anything from coons to foxes or even possums. So, we're gonna go ahead and get right into that. I'm gonna start setting it in three, two, one. Hey guys, so first, I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of a view on what the trap actually looks like. So, right here, is the door this is obviously what how the coon possum or fox gets into the trap so that it can get locked in in the first place then you've got your rings down here which actually help the door to lift up then whenever you look down here you've got your trigger right down through there it's this little thing that sticks up whenever you set the trap but anyway guys those are the main three parts of the trap so i'm gonna go ahead and get right into setting it Alright guys, so I'm right here right now and I'm going to scoot this trap over and show y'all how to set this trap. So basically, what you want to do, those little rings I was talking to y'all about, I'm bringing one up right now. You got to pull both of them up and then you use your hand to pull the door up, just like that right there. Once you get the door all the way up, there's this little trigger on the side right here. If y'all can see that, I'm pressing it. I put a little circle around it whenever I edit. But right now, there's the trigger right there. What you want to do is you want to bring the trigger all the way up, just like that right there, and then just let the door sit down on it, just like that. And right there, uh, that is a set trap, and that's basically how you set it. Then, once a coon comes walking by and presses on that trigger right back there, here's what's going to happen. Then he gets locked in, and then... Whenever you come in in the morning or come to check your traps, whenever, you got you either a coon, possum, fox, or basically anything else that can get in this trap. So, anyway, guys, that's how you set a trap. I actually made a video about two days ago, so I'm going to go ahead and let y'all watch that right now. What's up, guys? It's your boy Martin here with you today. And today, I have got a cage trap right here, and in that cage trap is a mama possum. And how I can tell it's a mama is because she has three babies right here up under her. That's, we'll go ahead and get a good shot of that. Look at those babies right there. She is trying to keep those babies safe and she does not like me standing near her while she has her babies with her. So, guys, um, well, anyway, since she has babies, we're going to go ahead and release her. We're going to take her to this field to release her because... We really, we kind of want to get a chance to let us see her run off and just get some good shots like that. But anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and release this little girl. I'll see y'all when we get to the release spot in three, two, one. All right, guys, so we just made it to the release location. And as y'all can see, we've got a big old wide field right here. So what, how I'm going to let her out today, I usually turn it over. So I'm going to do that again today, but I'm going to be really careful as I do this because I do not want to hurt those babies. And I don't want her to turn on me either. Make sure I do that as low key as possible. Alright, now, keep that. The door should fall right open, and now she's released. It may take her a few minutes to realize that she's out so i'll catch y'all i'll catch up with y'all when she starts realizing that she can get out All right, guys so we just she finally got out after about 30 minutes of waiting and there she goes got her babies and all strapped on to her and now she's gonna go get in some of that cool grass and chill all right guys so i'm gonna close the video out right there i hope y'all enjoyed that and right now i'm fixing to do the closing prayer so here we go Dear Lord, I just I thank you for this day, and I thank you for all that you've given me, Lord. I just ask for you to be with all those who are sick and need your healing hand, Lord. And I just ask for you to help our world in this time of need, Lord. I thank you for giving me the opportunity to be able to 
catch possums and do all this different types of stuff in the outdoors, Lord. I love you so much. In Christ's name I pray, amen. All right, guys, I'll see you all in the next one.